Blanc of Metal World, June 26, 2021. This is CPM Manic Cut at 65.5 Rockwell. Sharpened with the uh, Nets Pro at 10 degrees per side. The uh, thickness behind the edge is about 0 .00 0 0.0047 or about 5,000 of an inch or 0.12 millimeter thick. If it was a 50 degree precise, for example, then the uh, uh, same bevel, then it would be about 7,000 thick, but actually, because, I mean. anyway, uh, at 1200 grit, the uh, diamond um, water stone, there's a little, there are little uh, imperfection. That's right here, that's, but that's okay. This is same thickness as, as the white page, so it's phone book paper. And, uh, you know, this. The uh, primary test is going to be uh, the, the remote control uh, with uh, the uh, Argentine Lignum Vitae. I, I tried to use it against the block and see what happened here. So that and I have a different area. And so we'll see the stability. So pretty uh, control, a little deflection, but not that much. I will sit down and the purple, I will cut the uh, rope. Basically, this is a slide draw. It's see nice sitting down and uh, And please don't compare, you know, this with the say a production model of somebody in cut or anything. Um, this, this is blanket metal work proprietary heat treat. That's why that I'm posting the extreme while I retain the. Uh, Maximum hardness while re and have enough toughness because at this point it shouldn't have toughness, but but uh, so that is for the rope. And we'll take a closer picture. I mean, at 10 degree per side, and also with the contact here, there's some level of damage to the edge. So because also at the high level of sharpness, if you were, I was sharpen at 400 grit or something, then it would be a little different. But this is at a very high. So, there's something difficult there. This is uh, pork rib bone cooked here, and this is the marrow, soft end, hard end. So we will do some uh, do soft end, the marrow end. We'll clean it up real quick. Definitely some, uh, it's raw because I can feel it, it's not like uh, slightly. I'm going to go this way. It's very controlled. 
this is 10 degree precise, so it's not like a It's actually fairly hard, even though it's right there. I mean, the metal is soft, but the the hard bone part here, it, um, it's hard enough. It's not like a um, cow, a rib bone, or shin bone, or femur bone. Quick cut, and then we'll take a look at the uh, area that impacted and see what the damage and what is the mode of, uh, for damages. If they can sustain, say the edge damage is a roll and then multiple roll and you keep folding over, yeah, you can end up with a microchip. The 10 degree per side is very acute but I want to test to see um, the um, see what taken place before the fracture point. Even if you have soft steel, when you fold it over to certain extent, then it will fracture. The um, as you can see, the thickness behind the edge here is very thin, at about 47, 10,000 or 0.12 millimeter. After cutting the scissor rope here, which is also impact the wood backing, but what you are seeing is a lot of this uh, reflection. You only see reflection when there is a bend, and the light, I mean, in this case the sunlight actually bounces back to the camera. So if it's a fracture, then you just see a cliff on darkness. I mean, really brittle, then you don't have any uh, on the edge of the cliff or, or the fracture. There's no bend, therefore there's no extra light reflect back to the camera. So you can see all this light, I mean, in this case, uh, and um, this is uh, purely, you can both sides right here, you can see purely uh, a lot of reflection on the front side and the back side. These are not very well matched, by the way, because I didn't find um, the spot correctly for the rope, but you can see the reflection on both sides. That means it's rippling along the apex. While a widow of the, the um, Argentine lignum vitae, they're definitely a fracture, and so, but the light didn't seem to reflect on one end because uh, the bend uh, point to the camera. So the light actually reflect away, in this case, like these here, a little dark spot, actually instead of bright versus dark. The dark, that means it bent the, uh, the uh, apex, so the edge bent toward the camera, so the light reflecting away from the camera, and so you, don't, you see dark spot. So these are uh, the level of uh, deformation and on the opposite side, you look at, um, like for example, the opposite of like these things here. I didn't line them up as well. I guess this would be like this right here. Yeah, this is go like this right here. And this right here, the base right here, the fracture is cleaner. But while here, the bent right here, you can see this darkness and this bright here, as I was saying before. And so, but now I'm looking at like for this one and this one to match up. You can see here this is um, nothing reflected, and right here it's also dark. This is a clean fracture right here, or chips. Um, in this case, microchips. Right? And then this thing is to slice pork bone, meaning that I put a pork bone in, in the video, and then you get the take a slice out of the pork rib bone, the heart end, not the marrow end. And I measure the uh, the largest uh, damage, which is at 0.17 millimeter, or 66, 10,000 of an inch height. And with the thickness right here uh, of the fracture, 
is um, 0 0.059 millimeter or 23 ten thousand of an inch thick. Again, looking at the reflection light, you can see these are, from this viewpoint, you can see, oh, you're dark again because there's a certain amount of bend you don't see, but there are clearly a lot of deformation, bending going on here, bend, 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 bend. Even for this big fracture here, there are a lot of light reflection back. That means there is a bend and then it broke off. So. All along here, you can see from the pressure bending down, the edge actually bend. The, for stability wise, in terms of, I mean, we're talking here is okay, whether uh, it should be raw. But again, I mean, if it was softer or less strength, then the magnitude of these uh, bend going to be higher because, again, this is very thin geometry here. Then the, the, the pressure, then it, able to push through the bone, the hard part, you're going to damage this edge a lot greater amount. So as for the bone here, you can see reflection all along. That means there was a lot of pressure, lateral pressure applied onto the edge and then all the fracture occur after the bend. So there's certain level bend there. So that's what I'm looking for in terms of uh, uh, the heat treat that when at maximum, pretty much maximum hardness for the steel, they actually toughness. This results so me there is uh, the heat treat for this sequence here, five. They are toughness, actually quite a bit toughness. But of course, you can only bend so much, then you have to fracture. Unless it's completely ductile, they can smoosh around. Alright, thanks for watching.